Hey guys, Meteorology Rutledge Chris Tomer here with this Saturday mountain weather update. I want to take you up to northwest Montana where we're seeing some overrun snow from our atmospheric river. And this is really what's left of the river when it hit California. Now it's uh, traversing up through Idaho and northwest Montana. This is cattle spelled, north of cattle spelled whitefish. And you've got snow on the summit panorama cam. You've got snow at the base. And now it has turned over to snow even down in town at uh, whitefish. So love seeing that. Love that area up there at uh, whitefish. Here's radar. So the atmospheric river for all um, intents and purposes has come to an end, but now the leftover moisture had to go somewhere. And it's moving up through Idaho and Northwest Montana on the doorstep of the Tetons. And it's really just gonna miss the Wasatch most of today. You're gonna have to wait until tonight, tomorrow morning to bring in some appetizer snow, some light to moderate accumulations, bigger storm system down the road. It's, you can't even see it, it's coming in from the Pacific. Okay, here's that uh, that radar up close out of Salt Lake. And again, you might have a couple of rain showers down low, but I really don't think we're going to see anything appreciative up in the, the Wasatch until tonight into tomorrow morning. Um, here is water vapor satellite imagery, and I'll give you the lay of the land. So on this, oranges and reds are going to be your drier air loft. Your moisture's in the whites and the blues, and you can see this area of low pressure spinning here, um, pushing that wave of moisture in through Idaho and northwest Montana. And a little piece of it is going to run down through the Wasatch and also into Colorado tonight, tomorrow, and early Monday. But again, that's a small snowfall. That's a light to moderate accumulation. The bigger storm is right here behind it. So these two storms have been dancing the last couple of days. This one will come in further south with another shot of snow for the Sierra. And it's going to set up a west to east flow. It's going to bring in the moisture out of California, run it into Nevada, Utah, and into Colorado. And between late on the 24, 25, 20, 26, even early 27 time frame, that's when we're going to see um, heavy snow accumulation in parts of the Wasatch and even in Colorado. We could be talking feet of accumulation. So wait until you see those numbers. Okay, here's my uh, snow timeline. Best odds of snow for the Wasatch, Tetons, Colorado, Tahoe, and Interior, BC. So for example, in the Wasatch, you have that light to moderate snow coming late tonight and into tomorrow. And I'll show you what that looks like up at Alta here in a second. The much heavier shot of snow comes late 25, um, into the morning of the 27th. So you're going to get at least 24 to 36 hours of snowfall. And I'm forecasting one to two feet of accumulation out of that shot alone. Um, in Colorado, you've got uh, light to moderate snow accumulations afternoon, evening, 1124 into 25. And then your big shot in Colorado, here in Colorado, is on the 26th into the 27th. All right, let me take you up to Alta. This is the forecast mediagram for Alta at about... 9,000 feet. So there's your column for today, the 23rd. There's Sunday, the 24th, Monday, the 25th, early on the 26th. So here comes the appetizer snow. This is late tonight and early tomorrow morning. We'll pick up a few inches of accumulation across Alta, Snowbird, Solitude, and Brighton. The winds to this afternoon, even at the onset of that snow overnight tonight, gusting 35 to 40 at 9,000 feet. Then we have a dry pocket, and here comes the bigger storm system. You can see the blue bars, they're higher. We're going to accumulate, in my opinion, one to two feet out of this shot between late 25, 26, and early 27 in the Wasatch. So that's going to be a significant snowfall um, that is on the way. And again, that's Alta, but you could apply that to Snowbird and a lot of Solitude and Brighton. Let me show you the forecast mediagram for Snowmass in western Colorado. So and this is applicable to, um, it's also applicable to Aspen, the Highlands, Buttermilk, at the highest of elevation. So what you're looking at right here in these columns, so at the bottom you can see the timeline. So there's the 23rd, there's today on the far left, the far left bottom, there's the 24th where we have our appetizer snow coming in this af or tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow night, finishing up early Monday morning. Uh, we'll probably pick up two or three inches of accumulation out of that. Then the big storm system comes in, very similar to Utah. Late on the 25th into the 26th and 27th, the snow will continue to accumulate. And I'm thinking for snow mass, one to two feet, maybe more across the high, the high elks, like Capitol and snow mass and the bells. You could see potentially two feet or more down into Crested Butte. Wait until you see those maps coming up here in just a little bit. So again, that's snow mass. Oh, I wanted to show you on that map how impressive 
the um, the wind is on some of this stuff. I mean, it is going to be it's going to be really really gusty. Um, you can see some of the uh, preceding the storm, 50, 60 mile an hour winds this afternoon, up to 70. Those red dots up there, up to 70 miles an hour uh, for tomorrow, preceding that appetizer snow. So the wind is really going to ramp up in Colorado this afternoon and again tomorrow. Okay, here's the latest jet stream forecast. By close of business today. So the jet is still favoring a lot of the northern tier, but then right there, there's a little bit of a kink that comes through, and that's the small appetizer snow for a lot of the Wasatch and also Colorado. Here's the 25th. Now things starting to reload. Jet stream starts to move further to the south. Sierra gets hit again. This lines up the precip and lifts it over the Wasatch, the High Uintas, and a lot of Colorado. Um, 20, 25, 26, and look at the jet all the way down. Perfect position to really crank out some heavy snow through the 27th. And then that's kind of it. There's a little bit of leftover moisture kind of streaming through, especially right there. Um, but there's the 2nd of December. Okay, let me show you the forecast radar and the satellite. Um, so this is by 5.30 this afternoon. You can see where all the snow is in blue. By Sunday morning, there's your snow moving through a lot of um, the Wasatch, the Tetons, and just a little bit just starting up in Colorado, but that will intensify right there. You can see how that push of moisture comes in during the midday and afternoon on Sunday, especially in the central and northern mountain zones of Colorado. And then by the time we get into Monday, there's still a little bit of snow left over along I-70 and just south. Um, and then the next storm, you have to look to the west. Here comes the bigger storm system for a lot of the uh, the Utah area in Colorado. It's just loading up in California and watch what happens right there. See how we're stretching out the moisture across Nevada, basically all the way from the Sierra to the, to the state of Nevada into Utah. We're flush with moisture in Colorado. We're picking up big accumulations during this all the way into the late in the 26th and even on this is the 27th and the snow is continuing. Look at the deep blues across Utah and all of uh, Colorado through the 27th late, and then it's out of here on the 28th. Little bit of extra moisture just kind of running through. You can see it right here on the 29th and 30th across the four corners. Potentially a cold front coming out of the north here, uh, but there's 12-2 late in the day. It's most of the action at that point is up in the Pacific Northwest in BC. So my latest numbers look like this. All of today through tomorrow, Potentially 3 to maybe 10 across the Sierra from Tahoe down to uh, Mammoth and up to Shasta. The appetizer snow for the Wasatch tonight, tomorrow, is roughly 3 to 4 inches, maybe a 5-inch amount. Colorado Central and North, um, 2 to 4 inches will probably do it. About 3 up in the Tetons, 3 to 6 from Sun Valley up to Brundage. Let me take you into the other period. So this is 1125 through 12-2. So the big snow... 1125, 1126, early 1127 across the Wasatch and all of Colorado. And you can see the result here. One to two feet for the Wasatch, potentially one to two feet in Colorado, maybe even up to three feet in a few localized spots. I mean, you can see it. We're on the cusp there in Crested Butte, down into Silverton. Um, I mean, it's gonna be it's gonna be significant. Um, those are some big numbers. 16 over Vale. I've got one to two feet for Summit County, up to uh, Loveland and A Basin, um, to Keystone, uh, about a foot up there in Steamboat. Um, and a little bit uh, out in parts of Colorado, or in, in California, especially over Mammoth Mountain, as all this sort of comes in from the west and then shoots over the top of Utah and Colorado. So that's going to be a significant period, 1125 to 122 for Utah and Colorado, big powder. Um, and let me take you back and just show you that timeline again. So again, most of that comes in for the Wasatch late 25, 26 into the morning of the 27th. So if you're trying to time out the powder, there you go. And in Colorado, that big stuff comes in the 26th through the 27th. Um, I have one specialty map that I want to show you. This is for Western Colorado. Um, I wanted to highlight Snowmass and Crested Butte, Capital, the Elks, and the I-70 corridor. So I've got about two feet on the board here for Snowmass. I've got a, almost three feet, almost, on the board, basically two to three feet for the Crested Butte area. A lot of the higher peaks around Crested Butte, that west, that backside of um, the Elks. Capitol Peak, close to three feet as well. Vail, again, 16. Beaver Creek, uh, probably a foot. Um, copper, uh, looking at um, probably a foot and a half. So 
All right, guys, there you go. That is your update. We've got big snow ahead. Thank you for tuning in here on the Saturday. Take care.